Hey, this is Oingel, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit today about subscribing and why people want to subscribe to each other. Team Deathmatch. So you want me to subscribe to you. There, I, well, let me put it this way first. I want to subscribe to you. The reason I'm here is so that I can get to know people and in the community, the YouTube community, the Call of Duty community. So right off the bat, I have the inclination to want to subscribe to you. But here are the things that kind of make me not want to. <laughs> uh, first of all, put information about yourself in your profile. If you have an empty profile, why would I subscribe to you? And this goes for me too. If you came to me and I, and I basically asked you to subscribe to me and I had an empty profile, what inclination would you have to subscribe to me? These are just tips. I'm, this isn't me being negative or whatever. I'm just trying to make it, uh, you know, there are a lot of things on the on YouTube about how to make good videos and how to attract people and stuff. This is the very basics. This isn't how to make a compelling video. This is just somebody comes to your site, your YouTube channel, and they see that there's, let's give the worst case scenario, just your name. There's no content, there's no picture, there's no profile information. Who are they really subscribing to? What are they getting from it? So the first thing is a little bit about yourself or at least a little bit about your channel and what you're trying to accomplish. It doesn't have to be your name, age, and serial number or whatever. <clears throat> Social security number. Uh, secondly, a profile picture. Now again, you know, people have security concerns about their, you know, putting their own information up and the things that you put up about yourself can be about your character or what you're trying to accomplish, or what you do, are you a knifer, are you a, a sniper, you know, whatever. A little bit about what you're trying to do with your channel. And then a picture also doesn't have to be a picture of you. It can be uh, a logo that you've come up with, or some graphic that you got out of, you know, the game itself. You know, a Call of Duty graphic or something. But just something that shows that you did a little bit more than just sign up. Put up some videos. A lot of people ask me to subscribe to them and they don't have any videos. What am I subscribing to? Um, we can chat with each other. We don't have to be subscribed to each other to do that. So the subscription gains me nothing. Um, make sure that the videos that you have up are relevant to my interests. If you are somebody who posts, uh, you know, how to do makeup, I don't wear makeup. It's not of interest to me. If it's a Call of Duty video, great. Um, in my particular case, is if a Minecraft, if it's a, if you do all Minecraft or all World of War, I mean, <laughs> World of Warcraft, uh, these are also things that I'm not particularly interested in. So don't be offended if on my gaming channel, I don't follow you. Uh, put more than a few videos up. Uh, I see a lot of people who have tried to put up a video, uh, tried to create a channel, and they put up one video, and that was six months ago and it doesn't look like there's any more coming. That's not anything to subscribe to. If I was subscribing to a magazine and they only put out one episode, one uh, issue, what's the point of subscribing? Try to put out a video more than once a month. Ideally, you would do it more frequently than, more frequently than that, but once a month is like the minimum. Um, I'll see that somebody has uh, wanted me to subscribe to them and I see a lot of videos, but they were all from six months ago. And again, it seems like the well has run dry. What am I exactly following? Make sure that the content that you post is your own content. Just seeing trailers from video games or seeing that you reposted somebody else's content, um, that's not interesting to me. I, I'm interested in the person who posted the content and their take on it subscribe to me. That may seem shallow, but if you subscribe to me, I may want to subscribe to you because we have some relevant interest uh, in the same thing and that their community can be grown out of that. So again, that just fits with what we're trying to do here. We're trying to uh, express ourselves about the content that we like and then interact about that contact, content. So this builds a community. Be somebody I know. Now that's really shallow. Shallow. Um, my wife has a channel. She doesn't have a picture. She doesn't have any content up. She never goes to it. 
but I link to it because she's my wife. So that makes sense. Obviously not everybody can do that, but that explains why I do add some people who don't We're fit this other criteria. Some other things is that, that I don't care about, that what I call candy but not filling. Backgrounds, logos, how many followers you have. These things aren't really that interesting to me. Um, they're candy, they're nice, but they're not a big deal in the long run. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how you're recording and why I want to watch a video. So first of all, why do I want to watch a video? I want to watch it because of the game. I want to watch it because of the person. And I want to watch it because of the gameplay. So first about the game. I am addicted to Call of Duty. I like watching gameplay. There's a certain aspect of this where I'm already hooked. Even bad gameplay is something I might be interested in, if there's something interesting about it. Secondly, I wanna, you know, because this is all about community, it's because of the person. I'll watch somebody who has bad gameplay because I know them. Thirdly, it's the gameplay itself, the specific game that you're playing. There's something interesting about it. You did some trick shots, you came back from a loss, you know, whatever. Um, the other thing is getting to know that person. Over time, I'm going to continue to watch something because I get to see that person progress. After all of that is quality. Quality is great. And I know a lot of people will say that if you don't have, you know, an HD PVR, there's no point in putting gameplay up. I don't personally agree with that. So let's talk about the quality. Are you shooting, if you're shooting with a camera phone or a video recorder, that's not the worst thing. It's something that you're probably going to have to migrate away from, but if you're just getting started, it'd be better, I think personally, it's better to just get something up and start the process of posting on a regular basis and seeing if you even like doing it than to hold out and have something not come up on the web because you don't have the equipment yet. But here's a few tips about using a camera phone or a video recorder. Don't hold it in your hand. Mount it on something, place it on a table, whatever you need to do to keep it absolutely steady. And please shoot horizontally. YouTube is horizontal, it's not vertical. You got these big black boxes on the side. If you have a PVR and it's a low res PVR like a Dazzle, try to do the tricks that you can do to make it so that it will display letterbox even if it's low res. And I'll put a link to a video on how to do that in the description. If you got a high res PVR, you're gold. So okay, put information about yourself in your profile, put up a picture, post some videos, make those videos something that we would be interested in before you ask me to subscribe to it. Post more than once a month, post your own content, and go ahead, ask me to subscribe to you. I want to subscribe to you. Make it easy for me. This is Oingle on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and I'll talk to you soon.